What is going on YouTube? It's Tyler from Mission VR, where it's my mission to bring you guys good quality VR content. So today I got another game review coming at you. We are going to be taking a look at Outlier today for the PC VR. This game released and it is a roguelite uh, RPG fantasy sci-fi. It kind of fits the bill. You got some magic, you got sci-fi weapons. It's a roguelite game, you know, dungeon, kind of a dungeon crawler to some extent with some, some uh, randomized elements to it. Uh, overall, you can kind of gather what type of game this is going to be, and we're going to get into that in the content section here. Guys, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's go ahead and hop on into this. All right, guys, first up, I like to start with content. What are you actually going to be getting in this game if you purchase it? Now, this game is $14.99 on Steam right now, which in my opinion is actually, I would say, a little bit validated, and I'm going to explain why here. Um, this game, before you guys even go any further in this review, I'm going to just be outright honest right up front. This is a wait for a buy. Um, it, it, and I am going to say that because, you know, I don't want you guys to click out of the video when I start talking about the issues of it because you definitely will be like, well, I'm not buying that once I talk about the issues with it because I really wouldn't buy it right now. But at $14.99, if you know you want to make an investment on the future, you know, I know it's not really an investment because there's no return. But at the same time, this is a game you're going to want to play at some point. Um, the problem with this game right now is that the performance is just awful and you could probably see it on screen from my recording I had a hard time running this game while I wasn't recording con uh, you know video of it and well let alone when I was recording it and you know my machine is you know pretty well built for VR so the fact that I couldn't even run this and there was no graphical options even in the settings menu there's a video section it doesn't let you click into it the game's incredibly buggy it has a lot of bugs to it and it does not run smoothly at all that being said for $14.99 that's not a bad price for how much content's actually in the game. There's a good variety of weapons, a good variety of upgrades. Um, every run does feel different. The game is relatively challenging, which I really enjoyed that aspect. Now, to be fair, I'm not so sure that the challenge wasn't because that you know, the performance was so bad in some areas that I was getting hit because I couldn't move fast enough because I wasn't aware of what was going on. So take that with a grain of salt. But overall, you know, I really thought there's a good amount of content in this game. There's a there's a strong amount of weapons, um, you know, because you really can do a lot of different play styles. So, you know, when I say a strong amount of weapons, there's really only like five or six guns in the game, but they do feel different enough. Um, you can upgrade them. And when you upgrade them, it kind of is like a pack a punch almost. So it actually changes the look of the gun a little bit. And you do notice a difference in performance of those guns. Um, I actually found the magic the most fun to use, but the game's performance was so bad at times that it was just difficult to actually use anything really and keep yourself alive long enough because there's a lot of things going on on screen and it can get kind of quite chaotic really fast which again a perfect performance which is absolutely abysmal in this game so again this is definitely a wait for a buy until they you know hash out some of the details on it but as far as the content in the game actually goes i enjoyed it i thought that the level variety was enough uh variation that i would want to keep playing um the combat actually you know in the moments that it kind of wasn't super super janky um i really enjoyed just the flying around and shooting and all this you know you're jumping around the map you kind of feel you know like an acrobat just flying around and just shooting and throwing fireballs and throwing telekinetic objects and all this different stuff so you as overall the content wise in the game i think there's a lot of content here um that is to be enjoyed yet um and if they keep adding it it's just going to increase in value so like i said this might be a game where if you have 15 bucks right now you know you throw at it and you know in a couple months you know you come back and get it now at the same time you know i'm not so sure how much this price this game's price is going to go up so it might just be kind of a wait kind of situation for it um but overall i did enjoy the amount of content and i hope they continue to add more and of course hash out the the bugs and the stuff because there's definitely a lot of them i mean half the times in the levels i was in I had no idea what the upgrades were doing because I'd go up to the upgrade stand and it would just be like an orb sitting there and I had no, it didn't have any description of what it was. So I'd be like, I, I kind of knew some of them based off the symbols and I was kind of just, you know, cheesing it a little bit. But at the same time, I had no idea what others did. So I really didn't have a chance to just like, you know, okay, I'm going to use this and this run and, you know, really spec my character out to be able to use magic or telekinesis or this, this run's going to be a gun run. Like I, I couldn't really do that because the game was super, super buggy. So that's uh, definitely a downside on that. But we're going to go ahead and hop into our graphics and sound next.
thrust. This weapon shoots stone shards that can be pulled back. To pull the stones back, pull the weapon sharply towards you. First up, overall sound design here. Um, Gun sounds are kind of weak in this game. I'm definitely not going to lie there, especially the fact that, you know, two of the guns use the exact same sound, which I really wasn't a fan of. I thought that they could have um, at least, you know, made a different sound for the, the thrust gun compared to the Strider pistol. Um, that kind of sucked. Overall, the soundtrack, I didn't like, I did like this. Um, it didn't feel too repetitive. It changed when you went into arena setting. Um, it had kind of an explorer type vibe to it. I didn't mind the soundtrack. I thought that was probably the best part of the sound design overall. Um, I, you know, got a little bit annoying with uh, some of the hit sounds on me just because, you know, I'd be jumping around and the next thing you know, I'd hear a hit sound. I'd be like, how? There's nothing that hit me. Again, could be related to performance issues. Um, but overall sound design, I wouldn't say it's anything spectacular. I did like the music a lot. Um, you know, the, the overall sounds of the game, you know, the feeling of when you hit somebody with a telekinetic rock definitely has a nice punch to it. But um, I would say it's a, an above average sound design. Nothing, nothing special, but also not mediocre either. Graphics, graphics, graphics. Well, this is an area that I really couldn't enjoy at all because the performance was just so abysmal that I really had no stable frame rate at all. Um, aside from like, you know, in the starting area where I could just look at the pistol and, you know, the details of your hands and the details of the pistol. And it seems like the graphics are really good in the game, but it's very hard to appreciate that whenever, you know, every moment I am having significant frame stutter and I have no way to adjust it or fix it. So difficult to assess graphics in this game. I think that, you know, from what I can tell right out of the way it is definitely serviceable um again i didn't really have a chance to really admire any of the graphics just because of the issues that i was having but i, I don't think they're bad by any stretch of imagination i think that once this game's performance increases i think they're going to be a pretty solid graphical design so when it comes to my overall verdict here this game kind of surprised me in in the sense that you know joyway is a pretty experienced vr developer and they have some really solid titles out um you know being stride and against these two games are really well uh, done and a lot really loved by the VR community as a whole. So I'm kind of surprised to see them release a game in this state. It's just it, the game is just really, really buggy and it's almost unplayable. It's so buggy. Um, and, and that's why I have to say that this isn't a bad VR game in a stretch of what's actually there. And I think that over the course of the development cycle, give it a month or two months, maybe three months. And then go ahead and come back to this title. I think you're going to really enjoy it. I really, I enjoyed the playing of the game when it was working, but it was just so damn buggy. I had a hard time really laying into this game a lot. And I think that that's really the biggest complaint I have is just a very, very buggy release with bad performance. And the performance is really, really bad on this title. So this is one that I have to say is a wait, wait for a buy. And definitely buy this one maybe in a couple months whenever they hash out some of the details add a little bit more content um you know i think it's going to be a solid game down the road as long as they continue to support it but if they're definitely done with the game and they don't touch it beyond this point i would not buy this thing at all it's just very buggy and very difficult to play in a fast-paced game like this where you're really jumping around and there's so many enemies on screen and you have to dodge and quick and you know move and, and move so fast and you know if the frames are dropping like they are it's just it's, it makes the game unenjoyable if you're prone to motion sickness you're definitely gonna get motion sick playing this game um it's just one of those things where i wouldn't touch this game until they fix some of the performance issues and that's just where i'm at with it well guys i hope you found this video useful thank you guys for tuning in to this review please do drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one